Resident Evil 4. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possess the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave, sensed only by the parasites, is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission. 
And the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. we planted has been discovered by the Illuminados. You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. Rapido! Is going ahead. Lewis. Hey, senorita. You got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where is the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine. I can take a hint. I don't care who you are, as long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. A 
Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Luis has succeeded in recovering the sample. He's waiting in the castle. Get in contact with him ASAP. Understood. And that U.S. government lapdog, Leon. If you do happen to encounter him, put him out of commission. We can't let him interfere with our plans. He has no idea what's going on. He's nothing we need to worry about. He's a survivor of Raccoon City. We can do without the extra distraction. Take him out. <sighs> Leon. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. Leon, I got it. I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. 
Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Unfortunately, a bit too late. Did you retrieve the sample? No. Sadler has it. Hmm. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. If that's the case, then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion? He's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, he shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt, Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Las Plagas, and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon, but all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now. Once he gets Ashley back, his job will be finished. He'll no longer be a factor. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules.
Enough talk. Die, comrade! <laughs> Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here? Maybe some other time. Leon S. Kennedy. Perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius, he has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in the supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place, and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. Report. Time is almost up. Krauser's dead. Really? Hmm. Leon doesn't die easily. That's fine. We can use him to clean up Sadler for us. We'll let them fight it out. Neither one of them will manage to come out unharmed. Easier said than done. Either way, it's your job to clean up what's left of them when the fight is over. Don't forget who is running the show. Whatever happens, we can't let either of them live to see tomorrow. Our goal is to retrieve the sample. Take out anything that might interfere with our plans. We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Let's split up.
Bowser. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun when I reported you dead to Wesker. Hmm. Think of all the paperwork I would have to fill out if you were to show up alive. That's a large thing you have there. But I don't like it when men play rough. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be hard to explain at customs. Try a new trick, as that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back!
Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Thank you. 